Hello, I'm Ari Paparo. Thanks for joining us. We're here at Marketecture, where you get smart fast with in-depth conversations with technology experts. I'm here with Christian Bajja, the uh, President and Chief Business Officer of NBCU. Thank you for being here, Christian. All right, it's great to see you. Thanks for having me. Congrats on uh, getting this new venture going and excited to speak to you. Did I not know your name? Did I call you Christian? I didn't mean to. Krishan. Um, so uh, I had to look up your title on LinkedIn, um, which, and uh, I found out that we both went to Georgetown, so Hoya Saxa. Go Hoyas. Yeah, exactly. Um, I, I think my, I was, I'm a little older than you, so my class had a famous alumni, Hunter Biden. I'm not sure if you have such illustrious names as well in, in your class. I was a uh, class of 95 foreign service school. Uh, very proud, very proud alum of, uh, of the school. So you're not going to be able to stump Krishan on any geography questions. No, I had to take map of the modern world and I passed it on the first try. <laughs> well done. Well done. Um, well, um, thanks for coming here. So everyone knows NBCU, uh, one of the largest uh, media companies in the world. Um, and Krishan and I worked together when I was briefly at Comcast last year. Um, so what we want to talk about, and this is, I think, why we're really interested in hearing about this, is um, how NBC is talking about it's one platform um, and how um, how it's essentially investing in product development, not just media sales, um, as a way to address the market. Um, so maybe to start, why don't you just walk us through what is one platform? Well, Ari, thank you for this forum. I think it's um, much necessary uh, and allows us to, you know, tell this journey that um, we are on as a media and now increasingly technology company as well. Uh, which is really the genesis of our one platform offering. If you think about one platform, um, we like to uh, characterize it really as two things. First and foremost, it's our value proposition to our marketers and clients uh, to reach consumers at scale across all the touch points that MVC Universal has, which I'll talk about in a second. And secondly, it's really our proprietary advertising technology stack with all the features and capabilities and products and platforms that we'll talk about today as well. So if you start with consumer scale, um, we reach about 230 million consumers every month in the U.S. alone uh, with our networks and digital properties internationally and then through our partnership with Sky that expands to about 700, people, uh, 700 million people on a global basis. And so the genesis of one platform was really in an increasingly fragmented consumer landscape where consumers are uh, engaging with us on linear television to streaming apps to social media to all forms of digital uh, platforms. How do you make it as seamless and compelling and automated and data enabled and measurable as possible uh, for our marketers and many new marketers to come along for that journey in reaching those consumers in all of those different places? It's an inherently complex um, problem to solve for. Uh, so to your point, we've been investing in this space roughly for about six or seven years now in earnest, building a foundational layer um, and then adding uh, increasingly advanced uh, feature functionality and capabilities on top of that. So if you transition from like the consumer footprint of how do we engage 230 million people uh, in connection with our marketing partners on a day-to-day -day basis to the advertising technology stack, it has a number of different components that range from um, audience building, to plan building, to optimization, all the way down to a full funnel measurement. And we call that really our one platform offer. Okay, the, the, great. So let's dive into what that means. Um, so it, let's say, let's talk through a typical use case. I'm a TV, typical TV advertiser. Uh, I've been spending tens or hundreds of millions of dollars on TV for years. Um, how does my interaction with presumably your sales force you know, change because one platform is part of the conversation? Um, so we position ourselves really as activation agnostic as marketers and their agency partners and an increasingly diverse set of marketers that now have access to, to television through CTV and very different marketing objectives that they're all trying to accomplish. And so we, we genuinely believe that there is not a one size fits all approach. So one platform by definition is tailored to accomplish lots of different use cases, as you just outlined. To take a specific one, let's say in television, which we've been investing in for years and the industry is now 
uh, following and scaling is how do I reach more targeted audiences in linear television where I can't actually serve addressable ads because it's still largely a broadcast model. Um, generally, that's called data-driven linear. Our product as part of one platform is called AdSmart. And it is a way for you as a marketer to um, establish a target audience that's based on criteria and attributes that either you bring through your CRM data or that we help define through our first party data and potentially third party data sets. Uh, we agree on a target segment. Uh, we then find those audiences across all of our touch points, both on linear and if you want to extend that into streaming or digital platforms on streaming as well. Uh, and then we build what we call an optimized plan that um, the fundamental value proposition is it reaches your target audience at significantly higher reach uh, because it over indexes on those audiences depending on what parts of our networks and digital properties um, they're, they're watching. Uh, then we optimize the plan both on a pre-flight basis and within flight in order to deliver that maximum reach at equal frequency. And then we measure it on the back end um, through a whole slew of attribution partners, depending on the industry category of the advertiser. That's been a business that has grown significantly over the past few years. Uh, we're also in partnership now uh, with OpenAP, uh, availing our data-driven linear inventory as a pool uh, across multiple programmers. You have Fox and Viacom and now Warner Discovery uh, as store venture partners in OpenAP as well. And so this whole use case of advanced advertising and television is continuing to proliferate and scale, while in parallel, we're also enabling actual targeting in an addressable fashion on streaming inventory where that's possible. So that's a very different way of a typical linear TV advertiser planning for, um, optimizing for, and measuring TV inventory that it might have been five or six years ago when it was really based on content selections and age, gender, demographics as proxies for their target audiences. Um, about 40% of our total portfolio now transacts on currencies that we define as either advanced or non-traditional um, currencies. And so we believe that we will hit the pivot point you know, of over 50% in, in very short order. And all of our capabilities are kind of oriented around fueling those use cases and that growth.